approach is non-judgmental yet revealing. It simply presents Paul as he is. He's a 35-year-old pudgy parking lot attendant who lives in his closet-sized room in his mom's Staten Island apartment and is obsessed with the New York Giants. So much so that he calls into late-night sport, sports talk shows and reads from a prepared script that he carefully writes out during each work shift. This works in the film's advantage because it gives the viewer time to understand his quirks and flaws. Like why he is settles for mediocrity, even though everyone around him sees him as settling and taking the low road. Whoa. It's five dollars. Yeah, have fun in your box. Fire. Sick I am. Paul likes being a toll booth attendant precisely because it allows him to be a Giants fan, listen to talk radio, compose these monologues while at work. If he had a more ch challenging job, he couldn't do any of that. Paul's family heaps pressure on him to strive for more, and he has a hard time convincing them that he's just not interested. Six stuff every person needs, oh. family, children. No, no, I don't want it, I don't want it! One night, Paul spots his favorite player, Quantrell Bishop, and decides to follow him around New York which only ends in disaster. We really wanted to just meet you, Mr. Bishop. We came all the way from Staten Island. Are you following us or something? No, no, we... we just just talk, no, man. <laughs> Suddenly, Paul's devotion is tested. The irony of being destroyed by the thing you love and vice versa. Paul's devotion to the New York Giants is almost like an abusive relationship. Rather than leave or fight back, he makes excuses and protects the, the abuser. I got amnesia. Yeah, sounds like you have amnesia. The cinematography is fairly basic, but this works to the film's advantage by giving its battered Staten Island locations the truthful feeling of a documentary. I must admit that I respect and admire Big Fan without really loving it. Robert Siegel is successful in making a fan film about so much more. You honestly don't need to know anything about football to enjoy and appreciate it. For the Q&A, I was surprised, but in a bad way. For someone who was able to capture human personality so well, I was surprised by how blah Robert Siegel was in person. I honestly didn't think he had anything of great importance to say or that gave further insight. 